Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Isaac and today I'm going to be building a function that converts minutes to hours. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is declare our function name. Let's call it convert. And then we're going to pass in the number, which is going to represent our number of minutes. Now let's go ahead and let's uh, create two variables. The first one we'll call h, that'll stand for hours. And uh, what we need to do is we need to take the number passed in with num and divide it by 60 to give us the number of hours. Um, the only thing is, with some numbers, that's going to leave us a mixed number, and we don't want that. All we want is whole numbers. So uh, what we're going to do is incorporate a math.floor uh, method, which is going to round down to the nearest integer for us. So we'll always get whole numbers. Right. So now uh, we have our hours in place. Um, we need a variable we can use to represent our minutes. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take num and we're going to use our uh, modulus method uh, to divide it by 60 and give us the remainder. Um, so from here, let's go ahead and let's return these two. Um, we will start with uh, h give us the number of hours. So we'll uh, go ahead and throw in some strings here to uh, make it a little more legible. Okay, now let's throw in our minutes. And one more string here to uh, finish it off. Um, make it one nice string. We'll use our uh, two string method. And just like that, we should have uh, any number passed in should convert it to the exact uh, number of hours and minutes. So let's just go ahead and console log this to make sure it works. And uh, let's first start with uh, 60 because we know that should be exactly one hour. So 60 minutes passed in there. We'll go ahead and save it and go over to our browser. And when we hit refresh, our uh, browser renders uh, one hour and zero minutes. So uh, that seems on target with what we want. Let's go ahead and try something else just to make sure it's working right. You know, let's uh, try 300 minutes, see what that does. We'll save it, press refresh, and now we get five hours and zero minutes coming through. Uh, so as you can see, we've built a function that converts uh, minutes to hours, and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video today. Thank you.